The new part about Google Maps today is the save a list on desktop. So let's just have a look at that because um, there are two little bits that I've just ironed out. So the first thing is we need to go in and this is my second account and I'm looking at your places as it says and this time it's going to be save. Now you can see there's favorites want to go and start which are all private there's nothing in them. There's a public list by me on my other account but I'm going to create a brand new list. I'm going to call it band stand and you'll see why. Let's be fair about this we can use capitals can't we? And we create it there's 40 characters allowed. Have fun with music. I'm just testing this out to say you've got 400 characters allowed for the description and then it's add a place. Now at the moment I'm going to I am going to add a place and I'm going to say band stand Regents Park is the first one and I do want to add that to the list and I'm going to click add and then it's done already. Now it's a little bit ambiguous there because it had been the wrong place and you base your visit on something that's pretty wrong then we've got a problem. So let's just um, go back to look at our list again and this time we've got bandstand private. Of course it's private not shared at the moment. We've got the bandstand in Regents Park. This time what I'm going to do I'm going to search for a place and add it in a different way. So what I'm going to do is try and get back out. I'm going to go in and I'm going to look up a place um, in Kent where I know there to be a bandstand that's not quite right so when I say not quite right you'll see exactly what I mean there's this place down here which is on the Strand which is on the Kent UK coast and you can see that bandstand is clearly on there but the actual bandstand itself the pushpin look is slightly wrong in other words I've suggested an edit so I'm going to do it in two ways one of them I'm going to click on band stand which quite honestly I found a little by accident meaning it's quite close by so I'm going to click save and this time I'm going to see band stand and save okay but I'm going to do it another way as well say so look let's be fair if I wanted to go exactly there then I'm going to long press if you like to say that I want to push pin there let's I figured out how to do this exactly so what we do is we long press and be very careful where you click because if we click on warmer which is the place that's what you'll save you need to click on the longitude and latitude and it will come up as a longitude and latitude now it's the right bandstand I can click save and I can do bandstand and let's just go and check what we've actually saved here it says save to bandstand at the bottom here so if I want to go back and I look at saved or your places and then saved let's look at our list again and what we've got here is we've got the bandstand okay the warmer one which is the place of warmer the bandstand but the push pins wrong and then we've got this place here which does actually yeah that's that's better isn't it really and then we can um, add a label if you like and we can name it Let's just have a quick look after that on how we make those public and we can go on and we can say I want bandstand to be sharing options this time and I'm going to make it public and there is I can copy the link. Another way of course to do it is to just to click it anyway and then just look at the sharing options. We've got hide, edit, sharing options and delete and then of course we've got this public anyway because I've made it public and we can share it to plus Facebook or Twitter or of course get the shareable copy link. I hope we've made a little bit of sense out of this but this is of course a brand new feature which was adding desktop map lists.